Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Hello everybody. Hope this video finds you in a good health. In the Arabic language, there are a 28 letter. Each letter has four positions in the word. Okay? So, our lesson today is going to be about the letter or letter positions. Letter positions. Mawadi'u al-harf. Mawadi'u al-harf. Okay? So, as I said, there are four positions. Okay? There are the isolated form, the initial form, and the middle form, and the final form. We're going to see all of these, inshallah. Okay? Let's get started. As I said, there are four forms of the Arabic letter, four positions, the isolated form, the initial form, the middle form, and the final form. Okay? Arba'atu mawada. So let's start with the first letter, al-harf al-awwal, wa huwa harf al-alif. The letter alif, a straight line, and we put hamza on the top of this straight line. Okay? So, so, so this is the isolated form. In the initial form, the same shape, okay? It's still the same shape of the isolated form. Very good. That's it. The initial and the isolated, they have the same shape. So in the middle form, we start from here and we went up. That's it. This is the middle form of the letter Alif. So the final form, we start from here, and we went up. So the same shape, final and middle. Okay? That's good. So in the middle position, Alif, you can connect it with the right side, with the other letters, but you cannot connect with the left side. You can connect it with the letters in the right side, and you cannot connect it with the left side. Okay, I'm going to put across here. Very good. So now let's move to the next letter. وهو حرف الباء. Sorry, uh, I'm going to change the marker. Sorry. So حرف الباء. This is the shape of حرف الباء, right? Very good. The initial form of the letter ba. Watch with me. We start from here. And we turn and we go straight. And we put a dot underneath the letter. This is the shape of the letter ba, or this is the form of the letter ba in the initial form. In the middle form, a straight line. And we went up and we get back and straight line. And we put a dot underneath the letter. And in the final form, a straight line and the shape of the letter B with the dot underneath the letter. That's it. Okay? So uh, the next letter, the same thing like B. Okay? We start from here and we turn and two dots on the top of the letter. And we start from here, we went up, and we go straight, two dots. That's it. So the same shape of ba. Okay? This is the letter ta. Very good. Now let's move to the next letter, which is harfu fa. Very good. The same shape, okay? The same shape. We start from here, and we go straight with the three dots on the top. And we start from here and went up, and we go straight, three dots on the top. And the same thing in the final form, three dots on the top. That's it. Very good. Now let's move to the next letter, which is harfu jim. This is the isolated form of the letter jim, right? Very good. So let's see how jim 
gonna look in the initial form we we'll start from here as you can see the same thing like well, we go straight and we we'll put a dot underneath the letter that's it this is the initial form so let's see the middle form we we'll start from here a straight line and we we'll trace the letter G shape and we we'll put a dot underneath the letter the final form a straight line and the letter G that's it, we'll put a dot underneath the letter. This is the letter G. As you can see, it's easy. Very good. The next letter, we'll harf Very good. Harf al the same thing like harf al Okay, the same thing. Start from here and we we'll go straight. That's it. This is the initial form, the middle form. This is the middle form of harf al and the final form, the same thing like the letter G. Very good. Now let's move to the next letter, which is Harful Kha. And we put a dot on the top. The same thing like Ha and G. We put a dot on the top. And we start from a straight line. This is the middle form of the letter Kha. Very good. So the final form, the same thing, and we'll put a dot on the top. As you can see, the same thing, okay? That's it. Very good. Very good. Now let's move to the next letter. This is the shape of Harfuddal. Okay, very good. In the initial form, it's still the same thing, okay? The same shape. Dal. Very good. In the middle form, we start by a straight line and dal. Very good. Dal, one of the letters that you can connect it with the right side and you cannot connect with the left side. Okay? You cannot connect with the left side. So I'm going to put a cross two here. Very good. The final form of the letter DAL, the same shape like in the middle form. Okay? Very good. Now let's move to the next letter, which is HARF DAL. A dot on the top. So the same thing like DAL, like VAL. In the initial form, the same shape, we'll put a dot on the top. And in the middle form, straight line, dal, and we'll put a dot on the top. We can connect it with the right side, and we cannot connect with the left side. Okay? Very good. So, in the final form, the same thing like in the middle form. Very good. Now, let's move to the next letter. Harf al Harf al ra. Very good. This is the isolated form of harf al ra. The same thing like the isolated, like the initial form. Ra. And in the middle form, we start a straight line and we want up. And the same thing. Ra and dal and dal. You can connect them with the right side, but you cannot connect it with the other letters in the left side. I forgot to put a cross in dal. And this is ra. Very good. In the final form, the same shape like in the middle. Very good. So the next letter, harfu zay. Harfu zay. Very good. This is the isolated form. And the initial form, still the same thing. Zay. And we start from here. This is the middle form. We can connect it with the right side with the other letters. And we cannot connect it with the left side. Very good. This is the final form of the letter Zay. Very good. Well done. We're going to put a cross here next to the letter Zay. Very good. See you in the next video. Thank you. Ma'asalama.